guys, this is Jessie. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got on my Ipsy bag. Before I keep going, I'm sorry I was not able to upload a video this Monday because I've been so, so busy and I got cut up. I have some pre-recorded videos, but I'm going to be going to edit them and hopefully you have a video on Monday or next Monday. The theme of this month is Hello Spring. You can see Crispy with this awesome blue hair. I love that. Like, I've just been dying to dye my hair, but... I just can't so anyways the bag looks like this I don't know I don't care about the bag like designs they usually not like my style but oh well the thing that I got is this Mark Anthony nourishing argan oil three-day smooth well this is like a lot of words perfect blow-dry smoothing cream it's supposed to hold up your blow-dry for at least three days holds hair straight Free, free and shiny for up to three days yeah. it is infused with keratin so I really don't care about hair products in my ipsy bag but they're they always come in handy you know why because I really don't have to buy hair products a lot because I always get stuff from ipsy either it's like a hair mask or a hair oil or just smoothing something for my hair so I like it so I can't complain Next thing that I got, it's another thing that I always get, which is like eyeliners. It's an eyeliner from Ofra, and it's called Green and Go. I don't care about the color either, but I mean, you can never have enough eyeliners, trust me. I think I'm going to be using this in the waterline, and then maybe smoke it out with like some olive colors, hopefully. So, I can't complain either about that. I was very excited because I took a sneak peek on my bag. You know, if you go in Ipsy, and then you... Take a sneak peek, you can see what you're going to be receiving. So I got the NYX Liquid Sweet. And I only have one of these. It's a color vintage and it's my favorite lipstick. Not just my favorite liquid lipstick or lip color. Like it's just my one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I mean the formula is not like the best one, I'm gonna tell you. But the colors are really fun and then creamy and smoothing. And I don't think they're like fully matte finish, you know what I mean? But we can work with it and I just, I don't know, I just like it. It's a nice product. So let me open this real quick. It always takes me forever to open this lipstick. Okay. And I love the fact that like right here looks like a stone, like a bedazzled stuff. So anyways, so let's do a swatch on these. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys how it actually looks on the lips. Oh, I love the color. Okay. So this is the color Pink Lust. Bam, like, oh my god. I don't think I'm going to be wearing it because I already have, like, my makeup on. But look at this. It's so pretty. I love this color. I'm for sure going to be wearing it tomorrow. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. That way you can see, like, you know, whenever I upload pictures of lipsticks or makeup or makeup looks. So, just saying, if you want to follow me, go ahead and follow me. I'll leave it down here so you can go check out my Instagram. Next thing that I have here, it's the Temp2 Bronzer Warm Glow. Bronzer? Okay, that didn't make sense. Temp2 Bronzer in Warm Glow. Yeah, maybe. This brand, I know it's like an airbrush brand type of thing. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like, I don't know, maybe you can just totally use this by itself. It's liquid. I was trying it earlier on my hand and I don't know if I can use this like to contour or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure because it's a liquid, it's such a good idea to just put some drops of this on your foundation just to get that warm warmness to the face or maybe your foundation is maybe too light and you can totally put some drops on your foundation. But yeah, and it dissolves really nicely. It is like a gel type of not gel but it's like very lightweight it's not oily at all like you can tell this is not gonna be making making your face greasy or anything like that you see like that those strokes like it's definitely a very nice bronzer I'm not like a fan of liquid bronzers like that but you know I can always give it a try to test it out and like I said I'm pretty sure it's gonna work super good if you mix it with foundation I also got a brush of a brand that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce because it's so hard I actually got a brush last month from this same brand I'm so glad like at least it's not like the same type of you know brush but I do not like that every time I get a brush, it's always like an eyeshadow brush like these. So it's an eyeshadow brush. And let me tell you, I always get brushes. I wish I could get maybe a... Let me see if I have it. I see it here. Okay, here it is. 
here's an all over shadow brush and then i do like it everything like but my thing with ipsy is that they always send me the type the same type of brushes like i see they have like luxie brushes that they're like face brushes they have other stuff but i always get the eyeshadow brushes and it's kind of annoying now i'm a makeup artist and always comes in handy to have brushes like these because you can never have enough brushes when trust me when you do makeup on people you can never have enough brushes like these that are all over shadow brushes but still i'm pretty sure like if it was i was a person that received these from ipsy like all the time and i'm not specifically a makeup artist i would get so annoyed i can't complain because like i said i always use these type of brushes on clients but when it comes to myself i remember i got a coastal scents brush like these a crop brush with the same shape as these and what else did i got here's the brush that i got last month this one is a really good good brush i feel like these brushes feel such good quality that it makes me want to go buy so i might go and buy some of these brushes because they look so nice and everything but like i said i just get upset that i always always get all over eyeshadow brushes but i can't complain how many times okay i think I'm, i think i'm rumbling too much okay so those were all of the things that I got on my Ipsy bag I got the Oliver shadow brush from that brand that I don't know how to pronounce it then I got these smoothing cream or blow dry cream and it's a good size this is a good travel size and on top of that like if you let's say you don't travel a lot but this is worth at least a month of product so that's a great thing this, this makes up for anything like if I didn't like anything on the bag I wouldn't care but I got my mix liquid suede and i love this i really want to get more shades of that and then the temp to bronzer just to sum it up <laughs> i should have said this at the beginning of the video but if you're not familiar with ipsy ipsy is a subscription where you pay ten dollars plus tax a month and then you get a bag like this full of five samples or full deluxe size samples of makeup skincare just beauty items and I mean, Ipsy is really fun. I just love to receive this thing on the mail every month. So if you're interested in signing up, I'm going to leave the link on the description box below so you guys can sign up. It takes you directly, directly to Ipsy's website and you can get more information right there. That was all. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Kisses!